Hey, what's going on you guys? Your boy Chaim Samuels here. Let's talk about Late Night. I think like most people, I've never really been a big fan of Late Night. I don't watch it on TV. Mostly where I watch my Late Night is on YouTube, but it's with interviews with comedians and actors I really enjoy, but that's really it. But for whatever reason, there's always one late night host that I could just binge for hours. One late night host that when I look into his eyes, I I just get mesmerized. And that late night host is Craig Ferguson. And it's interesting because when people usually talk about late night, they'll go from Letterman to Leno to Conan. But for whatever reason, Craig Ferguson is usually always left out. And that's weird to me because I would argue he's the greatest late night host of all time. And in order for me to make my case, I first want to talk a little bit about some of the late night hosts in today's day. I think one of the biggest questions people have with late night is, who's the greatest late night host in today's day? And I think the consensus seems to be, and I would argue that the best late night host in today's day is Conan O'Brien. For whatever reason, there's something about him that makes him stand above the rest. I've tried to figure this out. I mean, is it that he's funnier? Yeah, well, I think he's really funny, but there's something about him that just makes him more likable. And I think it's because he feels more genuine. Now, I'll try to break down into my own words why I believe that is, but genuineness is a very intuitive thing. It's, it's really hard to explain, but I'll try to explain in my own words why I believe he possesses some qualities which tend to make him at least feel more genuine. Number one is he's really silly and self-deprecating. He's always willing to have the joke be on him, and I think that really shows a very likable quality. A lot of people who feel very self-important better than you have a really hard time making fun of themselves, but Conan shows that he's alright looking like a dumbass because he doesn't think that he's better than you, or at least that's the feeling I get when watching him. <laughs> Why are you not looking at me? Look at me. 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 Why are you not looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Chobo Zero. Chobo Zero. Chobo Zero. Chobo Zero. I would contrast this with somebody like Lily Singh. I know I've talked a lot about her, but I did a video a while ago talking about her late night show, and one of the points I made was her comedy was very brag comedy. A lot of the time she'd make a joke and it would just enforce how awesome she looked. Listen, I understand that for some people, <clears throat> white people, <laughs> seeing someone like me host a show is terrifying. Hmm? Hashtag not my Carson Daly. <laughs> but honestly, maybe I'm just the beginning. Maybe all of your favorite movies and TV shows are gonna get a minority remake. A lot of times it was making fun of somebody else and then showing how rich and famous she was. And that's a very unlikable quality. And Conan possesses this really likable and relatable quality where he's all right making a fool out of himself. Number two, Late Night's a very polished medium. It's very showy and flashy and it's, a lot of times it can be overly positive and feel really corporatized. Conan brings a level of cynicism to his humor, an edge, which makes it seem a little less polished. A lot of times when I'm watching Conan, I don't feel like it's a late night show. I feel like I'm in a comedy club. There's a real comedian vibe. I think that's why he gets along with comedians so well. He understands them. When you see him interview comedians, he's so good at just letting them be funny and then coming in at the right times just to make the other comedians look really good and funny. Uh, I'm curious what your take is on Joe Biden. Yeah, I just think that's another stupid thing of just because every mouth breather can chime in. It's never about what the picture's about. It's always what's going on in the corners. Yeah, you landed on the moon, great. But what's up with your helmet? You know, and they always got to, like, trash what? something about What are you about talking you. about now? <laughs> How, like, people, they just... Look, they, he's an old guy, okay? He came up in politics when you shook hands, you kissed babies. He was probably standing on the back of the train. He's so friggin' old. And now it's just... <laughs> Time passed him by. Right. So you're just thinking that it's just as a, a guy who's older, he's got a different style, and that people are making... And none of the pictures are that creepy. Right. His hand's on someone's woman's, woman's hip, right? And then you take the picture, and you just start writing a bunch of creepy shit about what he's doing. It's not like he went for side boob. He wasn't, like, <laughs> like sliding up. I think those two are just some of the reasons why I believe he just feels very genuine. He gives off a lot more of a genuine vibe than a lot of the other late night hosts. Not that I hate a lot of the other late night hosts. For most of them, I'm fine. I really don't have a problem with, but Conan stands above the rest because he really does have a very genuine and likable feel. Now, getting back to my original point. In the late 90s and early 2000s, it seemed as if late night was established 
there was a routine. People understood what it was. There was usually a late night host, he'd come out and do a monologue, do some interviews, etc. It was a very formulated medium. And then in the early 2000s, a man stepped into the limelight and took over the late, late night show. And that man was Craig Ferguson. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. And already from the get-go, this guy did things differently. When late night hosts would come out and do their very formulaic, topical jokes, Craig Ferguson would come out and do those, but a lot of the times he would play with the crowd, he would go off script, he would talk about how he was bombing, he would just have fun with the crowd. That was really, it was really very, very good indeed. The endless cheering, full of enthusiasm, yeah. and in no way anything to do with I want candy. <laughs> Very believable. Very, Very believable, believable indeed. A lot of these people really threw themselves into that, didn't they? Yeah, oh yeah. Hooray! What you don't see is that they're going like this. Hooray! We hate you, we hate you. We hate you. <laughs> when you're not here, they hurt me. When most late night hosts had a sidekick, Craig Ferguson had a talking robotic skeleton where late night hosts would have prepared questions in front of them to ask their guests, Craig Ferguson would take those papers and just rip them up right before the interview. There was just something different about the way Craig Ferguson did things, and I think it really does show his level of genuineness, that he was uncomfortable, at least to a degree, with the whole idea of how polished and corporatized this whole medium was, that he wasn't necessarily willing to just be super polished. I think one of the best examples of this is his interviews with women in general. I mean, I could watch these interviews for hours. They're just so entertaining. A lot of times it's when he brings out an actress and he'll just flirt with them. And it's just so much fun. That stuff you don't touch I, I, with I, you, I, huh? I do sometimes. What do you do? I do yoga. Oh, nice. Ooh. What kind of yoga? Kundalini yoga. I like the kundalini. Do you? <laughs> do, you know what, do you know what kundalini is? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Kundalini is the one you do for a very long time, isn't it? I want you to give me a snake cup. I'll give you a snake cup, Please? young lady. Yeah. Oh, dirty, dirty man. Dirty, Craig. I dirty, am, Craig. I am not dirty. I said I'd give you a snake cup, and you will receive one, and you will enjoy it. You can tell his guests are genuinely having a good time. Look, if you're easily offended, now would be the time to watch Jimmy Fallon. He's a great kid, it's a good show. Why oh. are you looking? I can see my own peepee. A lot of times they've actually said right out that this is the best time they've ever had on the late night show. There was just something so likable and enjoyable just to watch him talk to a guest. I never thought he needed sketches or games to do with his guests. It was always just him talking to somebody else and making them feel amazing. Another contrast I want to make with him and somebody like Lily Singh is Lily Singh's the person at the party that always needs the center of attention and will do whatever she can to get it. Craig Ferguson, on the other hand, is naturally the center of attention, but he doesn't mind bringing people in. And that's always what I got from his show and interviewing style. It was always just him having a good time with whomever. He just gave off this very fun vibe. One which didn't seem polished or corporatized. He always seemed like the coolest guy in high school that always hung out with the nerds. I think a perfect example of just the type of person he is comes from this interview he did. Ten years, never missed a show. Never. Ne that's yeah. incredible. You had shingles once. Shingles? How did you I had you shingles for a week. Have you ever done a show with shingles? No. Have you ever had shingles? No. no. You know, it's a terrible <laughs> name for a disease, Shingles, because it sounds Shingles sounds like the name kind of a of pony. Kind of jingle, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like it's a utility. Like shingles with it's the friendly, jingle. <laughs> but it's not. It's no. not shing. It's not friendly at all. It's a horror. It should be called Stabby. 
death rush or something. It's awful. He would always come on with this really ease and laid back demeanor. Like he was out there just to have fun. It didn't feel like he was trying too hard, but at the same time, it was incredibly hardworking and dedicated. I know I'm just going on and on just praising him, <laughs> just saying why I like him. I don't think I'm really explaining this well, but I think this really brings to a broader point. In today's day in a world of social media, genuineness is a real commodity. And I think people really appreciate real genuineness. And I think with Late Night, which is such a corporatized, flashy medium, a level of genuineness is really needed. And I think that's why, in my opinion, Craig Ferguson is the greatest late night host of all time. Because genuineness is not something that really can be duplicated. It's something that really comes from within. It's something that sees through all the polishness. I think in my opinion, part of why I believe Craig Ferguson is the greatest late night host of all time. Craig Ferguson. Thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. If you like this video, let me know down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also, the best way to support me, go to my merch shop where my brother and I have really put together some really cool designs. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day, you guys. Because you deserve